Hello everyone, back for another week at the farm. We are having such a good time. We are. We've learned a whole heap being out at the farm here. And right now we're gonna do just a little bit more learning together. Um, so we are still in the Book of Ruth. We're in our fourth week. You guys are doing excellent. Hey, has anyone read the whole chapter yet like I challenged you to do? Right, so we're, we're in uh, week four and we've just read a Bible passage. What have we read? Yes, in fact, just a few moments ago, we had um, Ruth chapter three, which is the chapter that we're going to talk about in our message today. And that's a really interesting chapter because in Ruth chapter three, we see Naomi coming up with a plan to help Ruth find a husband. And we also know that part of what's going on is that it's actually God's plan that's being worked out because God's been working all the way through this book of Ruth to bring about his plan and his purpose for Ruth and for Naomi. He has. So here we are, Bethany, on the, the shearing board in the farm where the sheep are shorn. We're in the shed today, aren't we? But actually back in the ancient times, back in the times of Ruth, they had what was known as a threshing floor. Do you know what happened on a threshing floor? A threshing floor? No, I've never heard of a threshing floor. Can you help us out? Well, I, I can. In fact, I'm going to get someone else to help us out because Alistair, who's, who knows more about wheat than us combined, and he's probably forgotten more than we've ever known, hey uh, guys. has some wheat here. Hey, this is interesting wheat. I found some wheat in the middle of winter growing out of a hay bale under a tree. That's so amazing. It's out of season. It's not normal for wheat to be out in the head. No, you normally do that stuff in summer, don't you? Out in the head, that's called out in the head. Yep. And so somehow we're going to work out how to get the wheat out of this. Okay, so Ooh, back in Ruth's study, yeah. they had a process on the threshing floor to go. get the wheat out from the head of the wheat. Right. So threshing Fantastic. floor getting wheat from the wheat head. So they mm. get the grains which are right here in the yeah. That's fantastic. And then the grains are crushed up and make the flour that makes bread. all the good stuff. Bread. Bread and, and, and all sorts of great things. Excellent. Excellent. Mm, wow. I reckon we should have a crack at doing some threshing. What do you reckon? Oh, I so I want to give this a try. Well, this let's, would be great. let's try, at least try separating the grain from the husks and all that kind of stuff. There's let's got to be a way that we can do it. Maybe not with this wheat because this is a bit green. Yes. But we'll find some that we can do with. And some ground. Sounds good to me. You want to have a go? Let's give it a shot. Okay, let's go. Right? Let's go. Okay. is an easy way why don't we use this so david and i tried some pretty interesting ways to separate the grain from the stalk and the husk and all of that but that's not really how you do it as alistair pointed out we've got a much better way of doing it nowadays which is in a big harvester but back in the day of ruth what they would have done is they would have been cutting down with their hand they would have had um, some sort of sharp implement to cut it down wrap it all up into bundles or sheaves and then people would take it to the threshing floor and they would just be banging it. They might have um, put it down on the ground and bang it with something or just hit it, hit it, hit it so that it all separates out, all right? So it was done a little bit differently and Ruth would go along and collect any of those bits of um, the, the straw and the husk and the grain that was all together um, and collect that and take that for her and Naomi and 
what's also amazing is how generous Boaz was in offering her extra grain to take home. And that's the kind of generosity we can experience with our God as well. He is always there. He is always with us. He knows, remember last week, whatever happens for us, good or bad, he's always there and he's always generous with his time and what he gives out to us. So keep remember to pray, trust in God, remember the Bible verses that you're taught, keep those in your heart and your mind forever. Sounds good to you? Sounds so good to me. Hey, we want to just say thank you to Alistair for having us out here at the farm. It's been great to come out and learn a bit about how crops are grown nowadays mm -hmm. um, and how in Ruth's day it was so different. Mm. but it's been a lot of fun it has we've learned so much i've learned so much so thank you for having us Pleasure here close. thank you for in inviting the church to be here with us as yeah. well come again yeah we shall wonderful Good on. On. Bye, bye everyone